What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Hunter X here, bringing you another episode of Project Ozone 3 Titan Mode Overworld. With that being said, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am talking really fast because um, we have a lot to do today. I want to play with some Erebus stuff, so let's get right into today's episode. But before we get into playing with the bugs, I just want to do a little bit of some stuff that we didn't do in last episode, like tidying up a couple, like tidying up our farm that we basically built last episode, uh, which took us two full episodes to make. So, one of the things that I want to make today is another star generator. Um, this thing, this farm that we have created in between episodes really really is like OP so we just need a couple with the skeleton skulls some furnaces and a machine block I think we can craft pretty much all of that that shouldn't be you know not too hard for us uh, especially this late in the game I mean we're not that late in the game but we're pretty late in the game um, there we go furnace generator and we're gonna need a couple of wither skeleton skulls uh, that means I'm gonna need a couple skeleton skulls so let's go ahead and make some of those um, we're all, uh, actually no we should be good on the rib stuff right I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna have too much of a problem there um, in terms of that stuff so we can go ahead and make ourselves some more of these heads so we need what five of them yeah and then we need another star so this thing is OP and I'm telling you it is OP so basically we're gonna be able to get infinite nether stars because one nether star turns into three so basically triples your nether star production and without having to kill no withers there is nothing that is stopping us and I gotta make sure that I also have one of these in our um uh with with us because if i don't um there will be big problems uh i need a rose bush um and uh, we wait 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 what do we need from batania uh let, let, let me go ahead and craft some stuff and we will be okay an alchemy catalyst i don't think we've gotten that far in batania yet so let me go ahead and find a rose bush and we'll be right back. I'm a total nubcake because I totally have one. It was just in my wireless crafting terminal thing. Boom. Alright, the witherless the witherless rose will protect us from wither damage, which is nice. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself some speed upgrades. Do we not have any of those from extra utilities? The the, the speed upgrade doohickers, these guys. Um, guess not. Let me go ahead and craft those, I guess, and, um, we will be right back. Alright, guys, so, let's see what we need to store from up here, and what we need to trash can. Alright, we're definitely trash canning these guys. Those guys are gonna get trash can. Experience is gonna get trash can, and the pros are gonna get trash can, so I really only want blaze rods, nether stars, this faux food, because it's a really good food. Uh, and then these uh, shards. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to take take emerald and diamond as well. But everything else can get trash canned. Because we don't need it. Oh, also, well, also all these as well. So these need to get added to the the, the filter here. Now, do we have, I'm thinking, existing item filters, because that's what we're going to probably gonna want here, so that way I can filter everything else out, um, Z-Logic controller, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more crafting, and get this whole root farm set up, and once I do that, we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so... I have been hard at work. I have been figuring out exactly what we need to do 
and getting all of our filters configured and ready to go for our farm. Now, we're definitely gonna want to. Uh, I need to actually still need to. I still need to configure this Ender chest. But what I did in between uh, segments there is I put all the stuff inside a barrel, and that barrel is now connected to our network. So we can see it in our applied energistic system, which is nice. Now I need to come up here and I need to see what network this under chest is on. So it's gonna be red, white, blue. I believe. Red, white, blue. Let's let's see. Red dye. Do we not have rose red? Some rose red and some blue dye i'm not sure if it's light blue it might be light blue actually so red and light blue yep indeed it is so this is going to be our our network that goes to our our our, our ae system which is nice right we definitely want that guy so now if i could just quickly go all the way up I should be able to put what uh okay this is gonna be tricky mmm I might not want to put nether stars into this one yeah okay here's what we're gonna do it's we're gonna do this in a, in a little bit of a different route because I want the nether stars to go into the nether star generator first. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and clear that filter. And then now we have to go back downstairs and grab all the stuff again. Um, so you, 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 you. Oh no, no, sorry, not, not silicone. Silicone, no. Um, yeah, let's just put all this stuff back very quickly. Um, you, 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 and you. And of course, my inventory would be full. Oh, actually, no, we don't need nether stars. Actually, well, mm, yeah, we're gonna need nether stars because I need to filter it anyway. So we'll go ahead and put this guy, all these in here, and let's make sure that we get them all. And we're not leaving anything behind. So one, two, and three. Rachel, Lynn, Morgan, I, and Garfax, Blue Hearts, you, Kelly. The only thing that we're missing here is the Nether Stars. So let's go ahead and re snapshot that. And then we're going to go ahead and tell it to. I'm going to extract off the front of the crate and insert on the sides. I'm gonna, so the way that, the way I'm gonna have this work is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my nether star generator right here actually no not mm, yeah mm, do I want it there I'm not sure if I want it there or not no I don't think I want it there I think what I do want is it to be above that so what I'll do is I'll have it be right here like literally like right on top of it and then what I'll do is this um, uh, the ender chest will go here ooh uh, yes that's fine that's the importer okay that's fine and then you will do that but you will be a higher priority and you will be a lower priority, right? Okay, you, this guy will be a higher priority and he, I only want him to extract nether stars. I only want nether stars to go in there. So you're gonna go ahead and get eight and you've already got your eight speed upgrades, right? Yes. Good, 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 good. So now, this should be working the way I want it to, right? 
Why are we... Oh, I forgot to put some stuff on the filter. So emeralds, gold, diamonds, and foe. We need to go on that filter right there. Uh, let's go ahead and disable you. And let's go ahead and quickly add this to the, the filter back home. So if I just do this and re-snapshot it, will it add the items? No. Okay. So clear snapshot. And that should have added all the items. It would help if you put the items inside the chest. Just saying. Okay, so it's going to show that. So you want to snapshot it. Okay, no. Okay, so clear. Resnapshot. Show items. Okay, perfect. All that stuff's in there. All that stuff is now taken care of, and that should all get put into our ME system. Or our, our drawer system. For the nether stars, I just want the nether stars to go inside of the... The, whatchamacallit. The generator. And then inside of the um, ME system. So, we just need a basic old filter for that. And then I should be able to, in theory, this farm should self-sustain itself for the most part. Um, once I get the nether stars in there and get it generating a little bit of power, I think we'll be, all, we'll be, we'll be good. We'll be 100% good. So you're only going to be allowed to extract nether stars. And you, my friend, can start doing so. And now we're generating loads of power. And that means I can run this bad boy right here. So we're generating about... Mm, it doesn't say at the moment, actually. And that's doing quite well. And yeah, look at that, guys. We are generating loads of stuff and I mean it's not fast enough to extract why aren't we killing why aren't we killing some items that's not good you should be blacklisting those items that I told you and we should be getting yeah we're only generating about 4,000 hours per tick right now which is not that much, to be honest. Um, when I add the speed upgrades, however, <laughs> oh boy, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna really ramp up the power a little bit, and that's what I want. I want it to ramp up the power. So if I put these four in here, I should be generating like twenty four thousand RF per tick. Like no joke. Where is my root farm? What the. Flipping heck, where did my, um, where did, what, did, oh, oh, it's over here, um, <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, alright, now if I shove these in here, boom, and now we should easily be generating 20,000 RF per tick, which is more than enough. To like keep this sustained and running like at all times and we're like we're producing mass and I mean mass amounts of nether stars yeah this is just not voiding fast enough I might have to get some translocators or not translocators sorry um more speed upgrades which is fine I just I don't know I just didn't want to make more that's fine we can make more so let's go ahead and get some steel and some speed upgrades, but yes, or not speed upgrades, um, silicon, we should be producing a hecka amount of nether stars, so we had a decent amount of nether stars to start with, we are now at 250, 250 
nether stars and that thing's only been running for what a minute or two that's not bad if i say so myself but on to the next thing guys let's 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 move on all right let's move on let's let's get let's get some let's let's go play with some bugs right i want to play with some bugs I don't know about you guys, but I want to go play with some bugs. And there's one bug in particular that I want to play with. And his name is Mr. Antlion Overlord. Um, I've already started kind of messing with him and dealing with his stuff already. So let's go ahead and let's go actually fight him. One of the things that I'm actually going to want to bring with me before I fight him is a mob swab. Because believe it or not, guess what? I'm gonna farm him yep we're gonna farm him we need to farm him for a very specific reason so let me go ahead let me go get to the Erebus and let me actually bring some fall with me as well I mean I mean I have access to my I'm used to some anywhere this food when you eat it is amazing anyways guys let's go fight the ant lion overboard so let me get to the air out oh, this is not the right bag and I know a special way of cheesing them, so, and I'll show you guys that here in a moment. But, with that being said, let me go fight the Antlion Overboard, and we'll be right back. Alright, guys, I want to show you guys how I cheese this. So, what I do is I basically teleport through the wall. I teleport through the maze. Until I get to the very corner of the maze. Uh, okay, so I need to go that way. Ow. Okay, this is not good. I'm on fire. This would actually be really nice to have a fire resistant charm right now. And I believe he's just going to be behind, no way, this way. Okay, this way. There he is, found him. Okay, calm, calm yourself. Oh god, this is not good. I'm dead. I'm dead. There it is. I didn't, I should have brought my golden apples with me. But yeah, what I need to do is I need to go find those guys. I've already killed two of those guys. So I just need to go kill that one and one more. And I should be good to go fight the Antlion Overlord. And the, the good thing is, like, once I defeat this guy, I won't ever have to come back here again. Or defeat or get a spawner of him. I won't ever have to come back here again. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I want to make sure that I'm away from... He's away from the lava pool, so when he explodes his items all over the place, I actually pick them up. Alright, well, time to cheese this even- oh, I just teleported out of the, the thing. There it is. I almost fell into lava again. What is up with me almost killing myself with this dang thing? Okay, I just got an achievement. Let it sink. GG, boys. Where is the pyramid? Okay, it's all the way over there. Okay, so there we go. So that means he's somewhere in this corner. All right. Well, time for me to cheese it. Uh. Oh. Okay. No. He's this way. Oh, I'm on fire again. God damn it is okay i've got my golden apples in my bag all right cool can i also put my night vision back on because it's kind of annoying oh found him got him awesome hey back up oh he's easy <laughs> i say that and i die what is that dude seems legit seems legit.com Wow, at least I died in lava, but uh, at least there's graves. Imagine if there was just, 
Your your items are splattered everywhere. Oh, I would be so upset. Okay, I I literally spawned right back into the lava pool. All right, come this way, please. Hey, I'm this way. All right, I want to make sure that. Okay. Now I can just do a little bit of a, you know, that. Do that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, dude, this has been easy. Easy mode. All right, go ahead and grab that. Okay, so we need those guys. So at Erebus, ice mode again. Oh, Erebus. So you, you. As you can see, I've been kind of collecting them as I was roaming around trying to find centipedes yesterday. So that was fun. Uh, or not centipedes, uh, scorpions. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh no, they're right here. Awesome. So I want. So you gotta go in green, white, you, and you. Awesome. This gives us the jade that we need. Also, I believe it gives us the exca. Ex okay, not all of them, but we have. We have a, a fair amount of them inside of here. There we go. And then these are magma creams, which I believe I can craft, right? I'm pretty sure I can craft magma creams. Yeah. Just need a couple of those slime balls. So boop, 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 boop. And then, okay, those guys, we have some of those. And then you, 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 and mm, I believe that's string. All right, string. Boop, 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 boop. And we're ready to fight the ant lion overlord. All right. Okay, I've got a resistance for three minutes. I think we should be good. All right, hey, buddy. Okay, ow. Hey, behave. Ow. Hey, you behave. Behave. You're, you're gonna get wrecked. I've got resistance, buddy. I can, I, can, I can sit here and do this all day. Trust me. Yeah! We did it, boys. Ant Lion Overlord defeated. Let's go, baby. That is what up. And we can also now create a spawner of him. So that means we can form him. How cool is that? That is some cool stuff. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today, too. We are going to set up an ant lion overlord farm. All right. You can go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of all that stuff. Get rid of that. Don't need that. That. All right, the only things that, yeah. All right, we can go ahead and put our night vision back on since we're not gonna die this time. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna need is a seed. I'm gonna need a seed. And, oh, okay. where are all my seeds? I feel like a lot of my seeds have gone missing. Uh, all right, you know what, guys? Give me one sec. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ant lion spawn egg and we'll be right back you know what i was thinking i might as well show this off again so what you need to do is you need to take a your mob swab of whatever mob you want right so in my case it would be the eris erebus and lion boss and what we're gonna do is grab a bucket of xp and a seed and we're gonna craft it with that and you're gonna see we're gonna get gm chicken feed Okay, 
and then with that GM chicken feed, we feed it to a chicken, and it will give us a spawn egg of that particular mob that we want, right? All right, I let the chickens go, so I don't know where they all went. Um, oh, did they come down here? Oh, great. Oh, great. I lost our chickens. It's fine. We probably have plenty enough eggs. Uh, uh, how many eggs do we have? Oh, we, oh. One just took damage. GG. Right, I'm going to go find a chicken because, yeah, I want to show you guys this. This is so cool. All right. So if we go, let me, let me, let me go look for a chicken and we will be, I think there's some over here actually. There should be some close by near the house. Let's stay away from the nuclear wasteland because those jumpy guys are really annoying. Oh, is that a chicken over there? That's a pig. Why does it have to be a chicken specific? I mean, I, it makes sense because chickens lay eggs. I get it. But like, why can't it just be right click any passive mob with the, the, the GM food. Aha! And then we, we take this guy, give him the food, he blows up. You get a happy birthday, Dark Osto. And now we have a spawn antlion overlord spawn egg, which we're going to be using. So I need to go ahead and get my silk touch pickaxe out. And where is my silk touch pickaxe? Where is the, the bad, the bad, the bad girl? Alright, we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and go into one of these abandoned buildings. Because we need to silk touch a mob spawner. Right? One of these rooms has to have a mob spawner. Um, maybe this house doesn't have a mob spawner. Interesting. You would think that it would have a mob spawner. Maybe it's too small to have a mob spawner. I know that these big buildings do have um, rooms with mob spawners in it. Which is what we want. In particularly, actually maybe this room? No? Where are all the mobs when you need them? Like my gosh. Oh, that chest just re that, that chest just appeared out of nowhere. You'd think it would be in here. Oh, there's the one that I've already grabbed, I think. So maybe one up here. Yeah, there might be one up here. Under one of these corner pieces. No. Am I crazy? I know these houses do have mob spawners. Let's try in here. There's gotta be a mob spawner in here. Maybe? Right, I see a, I see a pig. You would think that there's mobs. Mm, let's try this house. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm 100% sure that these buildings are supposed to have spawners. I know that for a fact. Where are these spawners at, dude? Alright, guys. I'm going to have to be right back as soon as I find a spawner. The moment I go... Oh, there's two of them. I'm going to take all the spawners that are in here should be another one okay behave yourself there zombie behave yourself oh yeah we should be good right, i'm gonna walk just by on these guys where did i come in i don't even know where i came in it's fine it's fine all right as you can see i have an apotheosis spawner right there and that's what the uh, the spawners are from. They're from Apotheosis. 
So if I go ahead and grab myself a com is it a comparator that I need? It might be. Um enables redstone control. Yep, redstone comparator. I was right from the but from the get-go. So if I go ahead and put this on the ground, put that in there, and then use a spawn egg on it, and now it's the antlion overlord. So now we can go ahead and farm these bad boys um, if we shall, if we so like. Uh, so like to uh, farm these. Now you still need to pick this up with a um, silk touch pickaxe. So that's still a thing that you need to do. Um, you can't just break it with a normal pickaxe. It, it has to be silk touch, um, which is unfortunate. But I mean, that's not too big of a deal for me um because oh no did i just cause a crash uh oh i can't get my dank no out uh oh that is not good all right guys we'll be right back that is so not good Alrighty guys, so what well, we're inside of the uh hunting dimension and we're about to create our spawner. So I'm gonna do this spawner completely out of glass. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of glass because we've got literally like infinite amounts of glass. I mean not literally but you know what I mean a good amount of it now if I chisel you what would look good because we want to do it all in glass encasing glass you know what ooh that looks fancy oh but the only problem would be the streaks that would be my only problem Looks like we're going with the normal, the normal Minecraft vanilla textures. Can, 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 thank you. I, I'd also like appreciate if you wouldn't spawn inside my thing, because that'd be awesome. Oh my God, you mother of truckers, go away! God, you're so annoying. Stupid little guys. I think I believe it's this guy, right? Okay. All these mobs need to like go away. <laughs> I mean, I guess welcome to the hunting dimension. Listen, skeleton. I. Okay. I ain't got time for these these some turds. Zero. Uh, you should be now even. Am I correct on that? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Now I'm quickly grab a chest. So that way I can fill up our doohicker with glass. And I'm actually gonna drop it down a block so there's nothing <sighs> I am going to end your life if you don't knock it the off what I just tell you I think we should be good that's not gonna be enough glass Totally not enough glass. Couple stacks. Perfect. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Just to be safe, I'm gonna claim a large area near our area here. Just in case if something blows up in the vicinity 
of our our stuff and things because that would not be good uh i don't know if i have a sh i have an emerald shovel so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna go shovel all this out and we will be right back Alrighty, guys so we got ourselves a nice room here that is going to be useful in many ways so i'm gonna go ahead and grab myself not vector plate, sorry. I need myself a measuring tape because I need to find the center of this room. And I, I'm pretty sure there isn't going to be a center because I kind of made it 20 and not 21. But we will see. Um, we're going to go ahead and spawn our dude bro, our friend. Yeah, see, it's not going to be even. So that's great. That's always wonderful. Uh, we'll go ahead and just place it right here. And that should be good. And then what I'm going to do is align my... Okay, how far is this from here to here? Eight blocks. I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough. But we will find out here in like two seconds whether or not if we're good or not uh we can probably take an underground tunnel to over here so i'm gonna go ahead and put a mob crusher right here and what i'm gonna go ahead and do is set it up so in a way where we can um push the ant lions if we have to into the supposed area where we're gonna be crushing them and killing them right now we are at bedrock so technically we how, how, um we can't go any lower than this which is unfortunate but it is what it is we'll we, we'll figure it out as we go here um we're gonna want an add-on a tier 11 add-on right so bada bing bada boom. We'll go ahead and craft one of these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shove this right here. Put this in and see what our limits are. Okay, so yeah, we have a lot of vector plates that we need to craft. We're gonna need a whole lot of mess uh of vector plates. Uh we might not even have enough slime balls. Yeah, 48 is not going to cover this entire area. No way. Um, I'm going to have to figure out another way to get slime. Oh, yeah. See, we're already out of vector plates. I thought we had a... Uh, a slime thing already, but... I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of work, and we will be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I've got most of this already all set up and ready to, to be configured. So I'm going to go ahead and set this guy up. And he is going to be this. And then you're going to input on red. And I should note that I should probably put that on strong signal. this guy here right on strong signal and also you don't need an input signal awesome so the only thing now that I need to set up really at this point would be um, potentially some storage for some things but I'm gonna trash can like majority of what we're gonna get from this farm Except for one thing, which is going to be our soul crystals. Yep, that's right. This, we only need the soul crystals, and that's it. There's nothing else that we need from this guy. Um, there's no reason to keep anything else. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and make myself an ender chest. And go ahead and say that... Um, you know what? 
we're gonna need to set up a wool farm and I'm probably gonna end up doing that in between episodes just because yeah reasons uh, um yeah we're up to almost 9,000 diamonds like we are smashing it with how much stuff we're actually getting so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna insert on green oh, I'm actually gonna want two of these because I also want to make sure I blacklist some stuff I'm gonna blacklist um, so you're gonna insert on a whitelist soul crystals and you are gonna insert anything or not anything that uh, blacklists that is a soul crystal so if I technically so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this farm so I'm gonna put this here and then give it a redstone signal so this should in theory turn this on correct not correct I don't think I fixed the way the timer was fa facing I did oh okay so it's definitely spawning them and he's supposed to be getting killed oh he did get killed oh okay uh I can't tell whether or not if he's filtering soul crystals or not no I think he's trash canning them right. I don't know what? oh no okay that's gonna be a problem okay that's right um how am I gonna deal with this I don't think I'm gonna need to if we just get a couple of these we should be fine so I think we, I think we should be good for now so we've got the soul crystals now I don't believe these are used in too much ignore spawn caps Besides that, I really can't see, well, besides the wand of animation, and that's really it. Just those two things. Oh, that's right, and the wand of animation gets used in, in a few recipes. That's right. I forgot. Alright, well, we've got that all set up, so we've got ourselves... A nice automated farm of the antlion overlord if we so be so be need it uh, so we need it so that's cool we've got that all set up that's all taken care of um, so yeah I'm gonna get myself together and we'll be right back well guys it is the old wrapping up point so with that being said if you guys enjoyed today's episode of project odds on 3 titan mode overward please do me a huge favor smash that subscribe button smash that like button and ding dong the notification bell so you guys get notifications when the new videos go live every single day and if youtube doesn't decide to notify you you can also follow me on all my social medias those will be linked down in the description as in they are in every single video with that being said it's been your boy hunter x i'm going to love you i'm going to leave you until next time, guys.